Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum. Our group choose Ramli as a Malaysian homegrown company. To be more clear, I will explain, explain more about Ramli company to you all. Each Ramli word has a specific meaning, namely R, reach for global network. A, accomplishing effective production management. N, maintaining halal cleanliness and quality. L, link on spiritual and physical balance. Y, yield confident in all action. For more detail, the Ramli Burger, also known as the Ram Burger Ramli, is a popular Malaysian burger created by Ramli Ben Mokni that is popular in both Malaysia and Singapore. In 1979, the Ramli family started Burger Ramli as a small family business from a mobile kiosk on Lorong Haji Hussein in Kuala Lumpur. Datuk Haji Ramli Ben Mokni and Datuk Haji Shalasiah Ben Abdul Manik founded the company in 1984 with the intention of producing halal, hygienic and high quality items. And the last one is, Ramli is a Malaysian company that specialize in supplying halal food and other products that are hygienic, of high quality and affordable. So next is one analysis of Ramli Burger. For the strand Ramli Burger recognizable brand by many people. Their business started out as a roadside hamburger stand and has since become a full-fledged halal meat manufacturer. They have uh, consistently demonstrated a commitment to meeting the needs of their customers. Alright, next, uh, the concept of strong production by Ramdi Company. Since it started off as a simple burger stand, their firm has grown into a full-fledged manufacturer. Then, for recognition of halal and tayyiban, in the context of uh, in the context of Sharia law, halal and tayyiban simply refers to consumables that are sanctioned for use on the condition that they are free from risk and do not cause any harm. So the compliance with halal and tayyiban criteria is required from Ramli in three different areas, which is transportation of goods, uh, warehousing, and retailing. Alright. Lastly. Uh, they have a strong domination in Malaysia's market. Ramli Burger has reached a sales um, for 1 billion and have opened uh, two process uh, factories in Churras and Kebatu. Together, this uh, factory have the capacity to produce 150,000 tons of product per day. Alright, for the weaknesses, uh, lack of advertising strategy. Ramli Food is uh, unable to make sure that its products stay current in the minds of uh, new consumers and build brand awareness uh, due to the lack of an advertising strategy. Okay, uh, next is uh, unhealthy food production. Uh, the majority of Ramli food is made of processed food that are rich in calories, salt and fats. Uh, the provision uh, of such processed food elicit uh, criticism from an organization that work to prevent obesity which uh, ultimately results in a drop in the popularity of uh, Ramli foods. And lastly, uh, as we know that uh, Ramli only has uh, a very li limited locations of uh, their store. Alright, for opportunities, Ramli should targeting a large market and having a large scope of production. Next, uh, enhance advertising strategy by sponsoring TV shows to grow more customers awareness and uh, for the purpose of attracting customers, Ramli Food uh, may employ both a traditional and modern uh, media, particularly social media platform. And lastly, increasing demand of healthier food. Uh, Ramli Food may be able to turn its uh, business around and turn its weaknesses into a strength by increasing the number of uh, healthy food options. Uh, lastly, for the traits, uh, a trend is toward eating healthy foods uh, that uh, people are becoming more aware of uh, eating healthy food instead of uh, what mostly uh, Ramli food has uh, to offer because the government and other groups uh, are trying to fight are trying to fight uh, obesity and cut calories. So uh, Ramli food uh, needs to come up with uh, new products that offer healthy food options for its business. Next, a strong competitor brand of multiple new fast food giants. Fast food competitors like Burger King, McDonald's, A&W and KFC pose a ser serious threat to Ramli food. This is uh, due to the fact that many, uh, many fast food uh, establishments provide an uh, option that uh, cater to people who are trying to live healthier lifestyle, uh, such as ve vegetarian burgers. Alright, next, a competition from local and global brands that they are intro introducing uh, new products to grow the market. And lastly, for the trades, a raw material price from the cost of operation, labor, and a waste management. Alright, for a situational environment, the demand trends of chicken patty burger are growing due to the popularity of Ramli's burger patties among locals, uh, which has caused the demand to uh, increase day by day. Alright, uh, consumers uh, reference group, uh, family members, relative, and social position are the examples of social factors that have the potential to impact on the purchasing decisions. Alright? 
uh, Ramli Group uh, highlighted social class in Malaysia as an uh, essential element of uh, consumer behaviour. They uh, set out uh, to create quick food that uh, the M40 and B40 class in Malaysia could afford. The main goal of uh, the Ramli Group which uh, produces a uh, halal product that targets uh, the largest uh, region in Malaysia is to address customer behaviour based on cultural factors among Muslims. Products sold by Ramli Group Company produced by uh, their subsidiary, uh, subsidiary uh, Ramli Food Processing Sindurang Perhai are suitable for Muslims who may be concerned about the uh, halal certifications. All right. Uh, for a further significant demographic segmentation is based on generation and by generation um, the religion is implied because the majority of Ramli Group's products are based on beef they will offend uh, Hindu inhabitants hence uh, Ramli Group must uh, avoid areas with large Hindu population Next for competitive situation both have product categories that are practically same for example Comparatively, um, Ayamas offers chicken burgers, beef burgers, crispy chicken nuggets, whereas uh, Ramli offers chicken burgers, beef burgers, chicken nuggets, beef nuggets, uh, and others. Via budget competitions, people are introdu uh, introduced uh, to the Ramli brand through the usage of banners and posters by Ramli, while uh, Ayamas exposes uh, their brand to customers by opening a restaurant in their name. All right. When it comes to generate rivalry, uh, Ramli competes uh, with another brand because customers become uh, dissatisfied with the same menu and uh, want to try new things like uh, curry pao, uh, frozen pao, and other similar dishes. In addition to this, um, Ayama's content uh, uh, with another brand because of shift uh, in client preferences such as a growing preference uh, for fro uh, frozen pao, fries, and other such foods. All right. Competition based on product form, uh, both Ramli and Ayamas uh, compete with one another since uh, they manufacture a product that is quite comparable, namely frozen meals. All right. Because of this, uh, they attract clients who are similar to those who frequent their store or restaurant. Now, as my part, I would like to explain in more detail about the problem and opportunity of the company. Instance 1 says, if I were given 1 hour to save the planet, I would spend 59 minutes defining the problem and 1 minute to resolving it. The problem of Ramli Industries from Rahab is in terms of competitions, the number and size of competitors are the trade and become a problem for the Ramli company. The main competitors to the Ramli burgers are foreign fast food chains which are McDonald's and Burger Kings. The products sold by both companies in the same product category as Ramli which is the main product line is burgers. Ramli burgers need to analyze all competitive advantage and the problem that will occur and turn them into their advantage to avoid competing in the area where they have the greatest competitive advantage. At the same time, the largest competitor of Ramli Processing Storm Rehab is Ayama's Food Corporations. The products sold by both businesses in the same category as well, which is frozen food. However, differ slightly in some features, use the same operating system, and are similar to the weights. This is can be become uh, be overcome by making a more attractive appeal, which is by making advertising. For example, by making a soft sell promotions of the product, which is to provide examples of cooking menus that can inspire consumers to use Ramli products when compared to Ayama's product. This is to some extent can attract the customers to choose Ramli product as their choice when compared to other competitors' product. Therefore, in the business of Ramli Industries from Rahat, the opportunities are in terms of consumer and social uh, market size and stability. Ramli Burger is no different from any other company in that it will initial, initially focus on a small segment of its target market. Ramli Burger has the opportunity to expand its uh, ca target customer base, even though Ramli business has to be consistent and has earned in place in the customer heart. This is because uh, Ramli Food Industries from Rehab earned 1 billion in revenue in 2019 and plans to grow by 20% the following years. The Ramli company may see this as an opportunity because they can expand uh, the size of their target market to another new market, such as uh, at a Western country. Besides that, the business's uh, opportunity is technological, which is the impact of technology on any aspect of the business. With today's advanced technology, a business can thrive uh, by producing a large number of high-quality products. Ramli has a number of advanced technology that aid in the advancement of the, its business. 
With the presence of this advanced technology, Ramli Industries Rambler Hub may be able to expand its business by growing along with the ability to produce many quality products while increasing sales result in the more positive profits. Lastly, in the economic terms, this refers to the current economic situations and market projections. The Ramli Group plans to expand its Ramli Halaman and Ramli Halakios network to 450 outlets nationwide and to explore new markets, including Japan. With the assistance of agencies such as the Malaysian Foreign Trade Development Corporation, this is said to be an opportunity for the Rambi company's economic situation in the market is because it is able to increase and expand the Rambi industry business to the market and generate better profit in, in the long term. Next, I represent on goal setting. There are two types of objective, marketing objective and financial objective. Marketing objectives are actionable target designed to provide not just overall directions but clear and specific actions. There are three objectives of marketing. The first one is to penetrate new markets worldwide such as Thailand, Singapore, Indonesia, Vietnam and more. Next, to develop and introduce new products in five years. The last one is to retain the current customer. Financial objectives are the goal or target related to the financial performance of a business. There are three financial objectives. The first one is to maintain positive sales growth in the existing market share. Next, to achieve company profit of a minimum of 30% every year. Lastly, to achieve an operating profit margin of 50%. Four marketing mix is divided to four, which are product, pricing, space, and promotion. For product, a product is something that is for sale. Product can be, be both material and intangible in nature. A tangible product is a physical object that can be fed, whereas an intangible product is a non-physical good. In this case, our group only cares about Ramli Halamat, which, which is only one Ramli product, Chicken Burger Patty. Ramli produces Chicken Burger Patty as mentioned below. Ramli slogans, pastikan Ramli baru beli. Demonstrate the company's passion for products quality, Ramli Halalal Halalan Tayyiban philosophy as Asia that its product is halal and is the preferred choice, choice among consumers. Second is pricing. A price strategy is a model or process that is used to determine the best competitive price for a product or service. It supports you in selecting pricing that maximize profitable and shareholder value while considering customer and market demand. The price of a single package of Ramli chicken burger is the size 420 gram, 360 gram, and 300 gram is RM 6 ringgit 30 and RM 5 ringgit 80 and RM 5 ringgit 20 cent respect, respectively. This price represents the market value for the burgers uh, respect, respectively weeks. Then is space. Ramli is so situated at SME Industrial Park Mokem Batu, Kuala Lumpur. Ramli Halal Mart and Ramli Halal Kiosk are the names of the remaining Ramli plant branch. While Ramli Halal Kiosk is a restaurant that prepares and serves meals to clients using Ramli products. Ramli Halal Mart concentrates on selling Ramli fresh and frozen items. So you can see the Google Maps that I provide is Ramli Food Processing. The last one is promotions. A sale promotion is defined as an incentive program meant to stimulate demand for a company's goods and services. The Ramli company uses sales promotion as the first sort of promotion in its promotion strategy. Ramli will then employ an advertising plan as a kind of promotion in the following step of the process to attract clients. Advertising is a type of one-way mass communication that marketers pay for for to convey information about specific product and organization. This advertising is used to tell customers about a new product that has been released, to provide suggestions about a new product, to rectify wrong impression, to build the organization image, and for a variety of other goals. Ramli Corporation uses magazines, newspaper, and television as its uh, principal medium of advertising. This company has also used numerous forms of media to promote itself such as Facebook, Twitter, and a variety of other platforms. The promotion approach being utilized will serve to strengthen the Rumbly company position, which has become a well-known brand in today's market. For the target market is divided into two, 
namely geographic segmentation and demographic segmentation. For geographic segmentation of Ramli, the important and common geographic variable for geographic segmentation are first is regions are rural, suburban, and urban area, and second geographic segmentation is climate. Second is Ramli group choose to do their business in all rural, suburban, and urban places because they had done their research and both the places show that the opportunity for them. And the last one is climate. Climate is a geographic factor are not very important to them because Malaysia has almost the same climate throughout the years and although there will be raining seasons, this will not much affect their business. For demographic segmentation, demographic segmentation are the segment based on age, life cycle, gender, income and generation. For Ramli Group business, the demographic segment based on age, life cycle and gender is not wider. Therefore, there are no products that target these segments. All the products made by Ramli Group have a low selling price and it will be favored by the lower income citizen in Malaysia, for example, in the B40 and M40. By generation, it means other religion. Ramli will have a high, higher rate of success if they sell in a segment with a higher number of Muslim residents because halal and high quality product sold by them will surely be more attractive for the Muslim. Okay, next we move to differentiate between Ramli and IMS. Ramli was founded in 1984 from a pure desire by owner that Haji Ramli bin Mokni and Dating Haja Shalasiah binti Abdul Manan to produce halal, clean and quality product. Meanwhile, Ayamas Processing Plant was the first to receive the Veterinary Health Mark logo from Department of Veterinary Service in Malaysia. Second point of Ramli Chicken Burger is Processing Plant located in SME Industrial Park, Mokim Batu, Kuala Lumpur, offering job opportunities in management, production, to product marketing and distribution. Meanwhile, Ayamas Processing Plant located in Port Klang, Selangor, operating since 1989. AFC SB plants process leaf bo broilers and produce further processed chicken products. The last one of Ramli Chicken Burger is the products using burger stone. It put banner and poster at the stone to introduce it plant and also it has opened fast food restaurant to establish its product. Meanwhile, for Ayamas also have restaurants to establish its brand and also it use coupon voucher using other brands to make customer more prefer Ayamas than others brand. Now we move to brand positioning. Brand positioning is the place in the consumer mind that the business wants to put that are the what the profit that the consumer can get when they are thinking of the product. The product made must satisfy the needs of consumer and at the same time unique. True important foundation for crafting brand positioning are first to know the frame of reference, second is to identify the point of parity POP and point of difference POD. First is frames of reference. For Ramli groups to compete in the world of fast basic innovation and open door policy of Malaysia, they must first know the competition they are facing. For Ramli groups, fast food change point of view, their major competition is the foreign fast food change such as Ayamas, McDonald's, and Burger King. Ramli Group know that they must compete with this big player in fast food change that they sold the product with the same category membership with them. Second is point of parity. Point of parity is the attribute shared with others. It is important for the company to know the point of parity because consumer is more attracted to the product that they can recognize easily and more familiar with them. The point of parity can be one that the customer set in mind if they want to decide. For example, Ramli Burger can be categorized together with other fast food chains that sold burger as their main product. For a small medium enterprise like Ramli Group, it is important for them to search the POP with the big player to take the mind of the consumer for competition purpose. And the last one of uh, brand positioning is point of difference. POD's of firm, Ramli product is the price convenient, halal and local public relation. The price Ramli product, for example, the fast food sold in the burger store is far cheaper than the burger sold by the big players burger. And it is difficult for the big player fast food change to compete with the price offered by Ramli burger. Another POD is the local public relation. 
other big foreign fast food change company have advantage in advertising and making big event to value their customer as part of the strategy to attract more customer. However, Ramli Group have the advantage as, as the local product producer in the country and the consumer will look at the company as an organization that is like their family that eventually make Ramli Group to gain good weight from all of over the country. Yes, as we all know, marketing is an essential part of a successful business and it is required careful planning and strategy questions. In order to help the business execute marketing strategies, a marketing actions plan is one that the owner of the business can create. This will help to keep campaigns on track and monitor the progress of the program on a monthly basis in a year or, or the coming year. For the monthly basis actions program in 2023, as the first month of the year is in January, the company can reach the audience with their email marketing to promote the new product. Next for February, the company can create blog posts that provide uh, real value and content related to the product with research engine optimization SEO. For the next month, which is in March, they can connect with potential customers on social media platform and write an irresistible product page and create a pre-launch uh, landing page in April. For May, they can set up a meeting for a TV commercial and make appropriations to identify the objective and brainstorm the ideas by the innovative manager based on the cost data. For the June, company can be filming a TV commercial recording image by firm, uh, video, uh, digital or other technology to broadcast or publish as habit for commercial purposes of the new product. Uh, meanwhile, for the July, the company can launch the new product where a coordinated effort to debut a new product to the market and make a product generally available for purchase. Next, for the mail, month of August, need to advertise in a major newspaper when the product is released. Moreover, for September, can do a roadshow in major city centers to promote product through free samples and product demonstrations. Next, for the November, the Ramli company can create a loyalty program through member cards for loyal user of Ramli product and collect points to redeem rewards and enjoy the discounts. For the last month, which is December, um, the company can make end of year sales promotions by giving discounts to the customers. Furthermore, an annual actions plan for the next two years, 2024 and 2025, is an actions plan that scales over a long period of time in one year as a whole. The actions plan for the year 2024 will be to, uh, will be to create uh, collaborations between Rambi Industries from Rehat, product and other local franchises can in increase the sales and revenue of the company. This is done to encourage more people to buy and support the same business while also increasing the profit of both business. Meanwhile, for the following year 2025, the actions plan that can be implemented is to enter a new market. Ramli products are well known and popular among nations, and they have to also enter the market of several other Asian countries, including Thailand, Vietnam, Indonesia, and Bangladesh. However, Ramli industry next action plan is to enter a new market in a Western country, where we introduce people to the deliciousness and uniqueness of the Ramli product, which are definitely halal yet free with a distinct taste identity. This can be measured by as meaning the growth and profit of the Ramli product during its time on the market in the Western country. Now, I will move to the anticipated result. The first one is starting capital. Startup capital is the capital required by a business owner to start a new enterprise. Therefore, Ramli Bergen needs to invest RM350,000 as startup capital before opening a factory. The break-even analysis determines what level of sale is required to cover the company's total fit costs by analyzing different price levels relating to various level of demand. Based on the diagram, we choose a chicken burger party as the product. The selling price for a chicken burger party is RM 7 ringgit and 50% per unit. The variable cost is RM 3 ringgit and the fit cost is RM 1000 per day. Sale forecasting is the process of estimating future revenue by estimating how much product or service a sale unit will sell in the coming week, month, quarter or year. Based on the sale forecast, we earn RM126,375 in revenue for the first year. There will be a total of 16,850 unit sale. Besides, we earn RM 187 and 400 with a total of 25,000 units in the second year and RM277 400 with a total of 37,000 units in the third year. The diagram above shows a gross profit for the three years. 
The gross profit indicated above was RM96375 in the first year and RM149500 in the second year as well as RM231500 in the third year. The total for all three gross profit is RM477375. A cash flow statement is a financial statement that summarizes all cash inflow from ongoing operation and external investment sources received by a company. According to the cash flow statement, all three years are in supplies. The cash inflow can cover the expenses of the business because cash outflow is less than cash inflow. So from the supplies, it can be carried forward to next year. An income statement is one of the three major financial statements that report a company financial performance over a specific accounting period. Based on the income statement above, we can see that the business has a surplus. This is because the total expenses are less than the gross profit the business supplies for three consecutive years. The last one is the balance sheets. The term balance sheet refers to a financial statement that report a company assets, liability, and shareholder equity at a specific point in time. Based on the balance sheet above, assets are greater than liabilities, meaning that the company can sustain its business. So next is implementation control. So the first one is the marketing plan will be put into action for a specific amount of time over the following three years and the plan will be evaluated based on how the company sales performance and the owner will need to review the plan on a monthly basis depending on the outcome and also the company has to respond right away and keep outcome under the control so during control management must evaluate external elements including the economic climate inflation and the new government regulation so the company may be able to save costs and increase profitability by controlling and sustaining performance. So this section describes the mechanism for keeping track of the plan development and this procedure aims to lead the marketing program in the desired direction. Ramli Burger is ideal for everyone since it has a good quality burger. It is not only a good in terms of quality but also has a has the recognition of halal certificate so people who are Muslim and other religion can eat Rambi without hesitation. Not only that, the price offer is also reasonable compared to other burger price. So this makes everyone able to buy a burger Rambi at a cheap price. Therefore, uh, I strongly advise all of you to offer Rambi product as it is a quarantine to be clean and safe to eat. Also, not forgetting, the price is also very reasonable. In addition, you can also get a burger Ramli easily in many booths and stall all over the housing area. The next point is the sale forecast and expenses will compute with the sale forecast being cal calculated for 3 years in a row beginning in 2022 and ending 2024, while the cost is calculated for each year that Ramli Burger spend its results on marketing activities and strategy. So their cost budgeting also include production costs and marketing activities. So this can assist people in purchasing a quality burger at a reasonable price. Next, Ramli Burger offer a customer a new experience and a variety of burger that set it apart from other brands of burgers. 